do you know i was watching some of my old rev oh christ i'm not happy with where the phone is i was watching some of my old reviews the other day um which sounds really egotistical but it wasn't i was just curious as to what i'd said about certain films because i couldn't remember my opinions and what i realized was i preferred it when i had my old phone sticky thing that I used to put in the middle of the windscreen because then I had both hands free and I don't now because I've got a phone holdy thing over there but I can't move it so I have to hold the phone with one hand anyway that's 30 seconds wasted not talking about a film I can't believe I'm going to say this but I'm absolutely boiling in this car and some of the reviews I was watching back was all me going it's really cold in here it's not cold now it's four billion degrees even though it's 10 o'clock at night okay so nearly a minute gone, I still haven't talked about the film. So tonight was a limitless screening. So this is a screening that I was able to go to because I'm a limitless member. The film isn't out yet, although I'd imagine it's out tomorrow. So it's not that much of an advanced preview, but never mind. And it's called Good Luck to You, Leo Grant. And it is written by the comedian and actress Katie Brand. And it stars Dame Emma Thompson and Daryl McCormick in the lead roles. And it's a very simple story, sort of. Um, it's set all in one place, which I always think makes the film interesting. It, it is kind of like watching a play. It could be done as a play quite easily. Um, but it's the story of Nancy Stokes, played by Dame Emma, who is 55 years old and widowed she's only ever had really boring sort of perfunctory sex with a husband who has now died been dead for a couple of years so she makes the decision to book a sex worker to meet her at a nice hotel and have some sex and the sex worker that she books is called Leo Grand and he's played by Daryl McCormick he is one of the most beautiful men I've ever seen on a cinema screen, which is saying something because I watch a lot of films. But my God, I've just looked him up and realised that he was in the film Pixie that I saw a couple of years ago, which I really enjoyed. Um, he's beautiful. Like, he's absolutely beautiful. It's ridiculous. He's so beautiful. And he's got this glorious Irish accent. And... He's just absolutely magnetic and he's perfect in the role. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not just saying he was really pretty, end of. Like, his performance is great. And I love Emma Thompson in everything. She's wonderful, literally one of our best. Um, and the film's about the relationship, the business arrangement, that goes on between the two of them and how it changes both of them. And that's kind of it. Like I say, the whole thing is set in the hotel over our various meetings. And it's just about them learning about each other and their boundaries. And it was very funny. She is a, a, just such a great comic actress as well as a great dramatic actress. And just the way she talks about the world and the way she sees things. And he's really interesting obviously she doesn't know a huge amount about him and she's really curious he's obviously educated he's smart as well as being literally beautiful and just glorious to gaze upon and it's just interesting watching a film that focuses on a 55 year old woman having sex and what she wants and getting what she wants and why shouldn't she have what she wants and why shouldn't she be desirable at 55 or 60 you know we don't i'll be honest it actually i find it quite moving at times because i think i relate to a lot of it and i know i'm not 55 and i'm also not widowed i'm 40 and i'm single but just this sort of idea of being at war with your body um that you're more than just a mother and whatever job you do and having these wants and desires um, and getting them fulfilled, it's like, it's really relatable. Like, don't get me wrong. And this isn't a film about my sex life, a film, sorry, not a, a review of my sex life, but it isn't the same as Nancy Stokes, who um, Emma Thompson plays in this film. Um, you know, 
yeah i'm gonna stop there i'm not gonna stop talking about my sex life that would be nuts i'm not in the same oh god position is position the word i want to reuse it's not the same for me you know even when i do reach 55 even if i'm still single i will have had more sex than this character has and more interest in sex than this character has um i mean i would definitely like to meet my own leo grand not that i could afford him because i'd imagine looking at him as a sex worker would be very expensive um but there's a conversation in the film about sex work and about should it be legalized and you know should it be a, a public service and i just think that films like this will help to break down that taboo about older women in films and older women's attitude to sex and what they should be allowed to do and to wear and to enjoy and you know that it's really nobody else's business so it's a really simple film apart from the relationship that forms between them does become quite complicated i won't say any more than that but she is wonderful because hello she's dear mama thompson and he is beautiful and interesting and great opposite her there's actually is that one of the character in it i guess so there's there's basically nobody in this film apart from the two of them and one or two other characters which is weird because then it reminds me of men that i saw the other night that i never did review um which basically has jesse buckley in and then um rory kinnear playing all the other characters but it was a very different film to this um i loved this I found it really empowering, I found it really moving, it made me laugh a lot. Um, and I'm just saying big up the big up the films that focus on women past the age of 35. And that at 55 or 60, they're not all, you know, ready to um don their cardigan and get their perm. It's you know, we can do whatever we want to do and we are powerful and fascinating creatures, and I feel like this film really tapped into that so a massive bravo to katie brown for the script and to the two leads um it was a really delightful piece of british cinema and i'm very glad i came to see it this evening um i encourage other people to go and watch it too that's it katie out <laughs>